Welcome back to the show. You know, interestingly, I had a discussion with someone the other day who was very keen on video, video production, going around the world and taking some shots. And, I, and they may be at that point, as we discussed, on going from just the amateur level for family and friends to kicking it up a notch. Well, now that's possible with technology. And there's a terrific event that's going to be happening tomorrow that might just be the bridge that you need to know what you need to know about the next in great equipment. Please welcome to the show Carol Ann Whalen, who is a producer with C2C Productions and chair of MPGO, Media Producers Group of Ontario, and also a good friend of mine, Paul Francis Cuddy, treasurer, also a, a retired news director, documentary producer, and it was your voice I would hear in my ear. That's right, that's right. Another day, another time on another network that's right. when I was doing the weather. Thanks both for dropping by today. Well, thanks for coming. Am I right to say that for a lot of people now, the technology is there more than ever before? It's great. It's such a fast-growing industry, and that's one of the uh, mandates of uh, MPGO is to say, like, let's find out from each other what's going on because there's different toys, everything from what you can, you know, the consumer has mm -hmm. with the camera or this phone, which takes great pictures, to the big, now the um, 4K cameras, which are fabulous film cameras that a consumer or a prosumer can own. I was going to say a prosumer. Yeah. Okay, well, there's a term I hadn't heard coined before. Once we, we use the term prosumer, it's because you actually want to make money. And, um, oh, that's I'm, the dip. I, yes. Okay. I, if, if somebody Just wants like sports, to, when yeah. someone turns pro, <laughs> moolah. <laughs> that's exactly it. So it's, it's a really fun industry, and everybody um, can be in it because it is a very exciting industry. Everything from, you know, animation, 3D stuff is going on, and it's still at the prosumer level, 3D, and we have uh, documentary producers, and you have um, video blogs. So you got the whole gamut. You have, you know, film, short film, and feature films to corporate message. So there's lots of opportunities out there. Now, I, I just want to say, for Paul, for you, in the span of your career, you not only you know sat in a control room talking in people's ears, you got the cameras. You went out there and yes, did the shooting, yes. and you did many documentaries, and you, you went around the world too, didn't you? Yes, yes. Talk about what you've seen and the difference of the equipment you were lugging around then versus now. Well, back in the old days, it was like a two-piece equipment with a camera and a video recorder that you would hold on your shoulder, which was three-quarter inch. And then you came into the single units and uh, with great big tapes and, and eventually just things got smaller and smaller and smaller and it made it easier because the batteries got smaller, the tripods got smaller, it was just easier to travel and you came away with more or less the same quality. So has that allowed videographers now to capture things in places they might not have been able to before or just takes well, less effort to do it? Well, what it, what it is is that when you would go to these places and take out a, a very large camera, it would attract attention. Now when you're taking out a small camera, a lot of times you just look like a tourist. Right. Isn't that interesting? Which yeah. can have its pluses or minuses. <laughs> yes, suppose, it can. Yeah. Depending on what you're yes, trying to capture. Yes, yes. So let's get to what you want to achieve with tomorrow night's event. Well, basically we're bringing them t together, all these people that are interested in different medias, and, and we, we introduce them to different things. And we share, because we all to come, we've experienced things, and we've found little tricks, and we have the same problems, we have the same issues with trying to get stuff to the internet. Right. You know, different formatting, or sometimes you want to either put it to YouTube, or you want to, you know, project it at the Princess Cinema. So mm -hmm. these are the same film you want to, um, distribute it different. So we have all these issues, so we share with each other, and and the technology is changing constantly. And so, you know, we can get into it where we want to buy everything. And you can't, not if you want to make money, you can't buy <laughs> yeah, Exactly, anything. you'll be in the hole for way too so, long. So let's, let's talk, let's share. And it's not just the toys, it's the talent too. Because as much as the toys are out there and everybody has access to it, how, knowing how to use them, we always use the uh, analogy of I own a hammer, do you want me to like fix your roof, mm -hmm. right? It's just because you own a camera doesn't know, mean you know how to tell a story. And so let's like share our talents and our skills. And um, especially with um, the software changing all the time, it's, it's you're constantly, constantly learning, and the toys are coming in. So that's why the Media Producers Group of Ontario, that's what it's so, it's an exciting networking opportunity. We get together, we get to put our hands on new toys, and, um, and we can share each other's stories. We get to show off our stuff, some of the, you know, the latest, you know, adventures we've had, and so that people go, oh, I never thought of approaching a project like that. So, so Paul and, and Caroline talked about a little bit with the increase in the betterment of technology, too. For some people, they just can't keep up on it all. So it is nice to have an event like this where you can discuss, maybe someone else has already tried out yes. technology. How do you keep up to date on the latest greatest? I, I find it difficult. I've sort of 
started spinning my wheels when it started to become to uh, to recording on a digital for a format. So I just more or less would bring in the experts to do that work for me. Right. And tomorrow we'll include someone who will actually speak on some of the latest technology. Well, we right? have we have a, we have two people coming down from JVC, which is the the vice president is co coming down. They're bringing five cameras. So there should be something for everybody. There's, they're going to bring an ENG camera that would be used like in a news right. environment, but it supports all for, uh, formats. So if you're shooting for CBC or if you're shooting for CTV, you can select their format to make it easier to transfer the footage. Oh, isn't that interesting? They're bringing interesting. an EFP camera for electronic field production. They're bringing a camera such as you have in the studio here that could be set up for a studio configuration. They're bringing an entry level camera for somebody that wants just getting started out in the business but wants that high quality and and maybe a little more user friendly of exactly, its entry level yes. okay and they're bringing what they call a 4k which means it has four times the resolution of HD it shoots in such oh, a large word. large format but it shoots what it's called raw so when you import it right you can do more things with it in post production so uh, someone who uses a digital still camera would understand what RAW is all about. Exactly. While exactly. the file size is massive, it, it gives you more yes. post manipulation after the fact. But the big thing with JVC is that they've partnered with uh, Apple and I think Final Cut Pro. So I don't think there's rendering time. You can just take the file and just drag it over to your desktop right. and it's there. It's, it's like cut and paste. So if you shoot an hour, you don't have to sit there and wait an hour for it to be ingested into the system. And I know this is technical for someone that might not get it. No, but it basically means if you've shot eight hours on vacation, you don't have to sit eight hours to get it into the system. Well, it's quicker now. Like right. there is a sure four times speed. Sure it is, there's a half time. Yeah, exactly, yeah. but I think when, you, and if you shoot uh, frugally and split up your scenes, the transfer rate is re really, really quick. Carol Ann, I'm sal salivating right now about all this yeah, gears and equipment too. I for tomorrow know. night, is it is it only for those that are already part of an organization? Is this for any guy who's just like, look, I'd love to learn more and I'd, I want to be around people? Absolutely. Okay. And there's lots of, because of who we are, okay. we love to talk about the toys. So with 30 seconds to go, where do they go and when? At uh, 1893 Ottawa Street South in Kitchener at C2C Productions. Um, go on to the site. That's your best bet. Go on Excellent. to mpgo.org. It's right there on the show, on the, uh, on the uh, program for you, on TV today. I worry about four times high def, because I'm low def <laughs> no, mark. No, it's 3D. <laughs> I'm low I definition don't. mark, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope talent improves somewhere down the road. It isn't me. Thank you both for your time Thank today. You so I much. appreciate that. We'll be back with more daytime in just a moment.